Dennis, damage was done in the first 20 minutes and you couldn't just do enough to recover? Yeah, in the end, obviously two goals on this pitch was too much to come back from. We didn't adapt to the conditions well enough early on and we gave the ball away in sloppy areas and they've counter-attacked us twice and, and punished us with two goals. So it was an uphill task from them. We managed to regroup at half-time and give ourselves a, a different way of playing second half to try and force the issue. We've done that, but unfortunately we've only got one back and it just didn't quite fall for us in certain areas, you know, and they kept clearing their lines. But we'll give it a go, you know. I'd like to say that the supporters can't complain, you know, when you give everything, and we, we've done that. It's not like we go into games and we roll over. We'll give everything, we've gone right to the last minute. So I'm proud of the players for that because they, they always give everything. But sometimes we just either lack a little bit of quality or sometimes even lack a little bit of luck. You know, like their first goal on the counter attack that they've got, they fouled our player first, and we should have had a free kick. The break away scored, and apparently the goal there was well over the line, but the referee never got himself in a position to see it was over the line. So, you know, we've said all year that we need a bit of luck, but games are running out and we don't seem to be getting it at the moment. They say it normally evens itself out, but at the moment we're still waiting for that little bit of luck. It's hard to tell from where we were, but by the reaction of everybody, it looked like you'd reduced the deficit right in half time, but obviously not given. Yeah, you know, all our players said it was, or the ones that was in the vicinity said it was over the line. The supporters are behind the goal, they can see it's over the line, but you know, if the ref can't see it, he can't see it. He can't give a goal because of our reaction. You can only give the guy if he sees it, and unfortunately, him or the linesman couldn't get themselves in a position to see where it was over the line. One positive, one major positive, Mark Jones has finally got himself a goal, and that's a weight off his shoulders. Yeah, unfortunately, it's, it's a goal that doesn't mean anything apart from he gets himself off the mark for Boston. It'd be nice if it would be a winning goal to warrant all the effort that he's put into this football club for the last three months and the effort he's put in today. But it's just a shame in the end it's a, it's a goal that doesn't mean anything. And it's just been nice for him to get a goal, like an equaliser or a winner, that actually means something as well. But I'm really pleased for him. He deserves it for the effort he's put in. And desperately close at the end there with Mark Newsham. It looked like it was going in. It didn't go in. But... Keeper just dropped on it at the last minute. Yeah, there's a few there. Uh, uh, they didn't fall for us or go in, I don't know, but that's football, you know. We, we've put enough balls in there, we've, we've, we've threatened, we've got it wide, we've put balls in, and they've just either got blocks in or it's a poor pass in. The one there we know, so I couldn't quite see it. I know it was very close to the goal, and he thought he was just going to toe poke it in, and all of a sudden the goalkeeper was dropped on it on the line. So. I couldn't quite see from where I was, but I just knew it was very close. I'm just waiting for everyone to put their arms up in the end that we scored, but it wasn't to be. And just going back to Mark Jones, presumably pleased to have secured his services now for the rest of the season. Yeah, I put that in the paper this week. You know, most people will be hiding now if they play 16 games as a forward and ain't scored a goal. But Jones is never hid. He's always give everything. He's shown tremendous quality, and the goals will come. You know, hopefully now Jones will go on a on a streak of scoring goals. Um, first class head at a day from the um, corner, and you know. He was there or there in the bats in the vicinity to get one or two more, wasn't he? Just last ditch tackling. You know, you've got to credit Harrogate for their um, defensive qualities today. You know, they defended for their lives, they defended well. They had something to hang on to, and uh, the five at the back there um, defended their, their last line defence well. Two massive home games now, Guysley and Stockport both right up there with you. Promise to be two really good games. Let's hope so, let's hope they go our way, you know. Like I say, the, the players give everything. I can't fault the players' effort. We all know we lack in certain areas of quality, but that's, we, you know, we can only have what we've got. But we, we work hard every week in training. We work hard every week in, in the matches, and we're trying to play a style of football that will move us forward and be organised. Um, but things just ain't quite falling for us at the moment. You know, we're giving everything. It's not like the supporters go out there and see a team that don't want to go out there and give everything to Boston. They do that for sure. But we just need a little bit of, of luck going our way at the moment, that's all.